Hello Multimedia class, this is Rob Bremer, the Multimedia Capstone Instructor, and this is Winter 2013. I'm trying a new experiment. I'm trying informal videos that I occasionally insert to help you over areas that have seemed problematic in the past. Here we have an example of one of the two sections that I teach. This one is called the Echo Paul Project. The other one happens to be called Echo Merge. Both of them have sight meters attached. Sight meters are ways to have web analytics that tell us about readership and prove that we have readers around the world. If you scroll down on the right hand side of both blogs, you will find a large number. As you get further into the class this term, you'll be able to move this around, but the last term left it here. Click once on the large number. This takes you behind the scenes into the site analytics. In the site analytics, and I'll zoom in just a little bit to show you a little bit more, uh, you get total visitors, average time per day, average visits per day, average visit length. You can see there were three in the last hour. Down at the bottom, you can get information uh, about all sorts of things about the people who have been viewing us. You can get a pie chart of the continents, North America, Europe, Asia. You can get it broken down to language and you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different languages that have accessed uh, the site. Six percent in Russian, two percent in Dutch, two percent in French, two percent in German. This is very interesting stuff. Over on the left, you can find information about how it's changing over time. If you go to visits and go to previous 12 months, you'll get a, a bar chart. And you'll see that overall, there's an uptick in readership and it ebbs and flows. Naturally, it goes down in summer. You see it going down a little bit in summer. But overall, the curve does seem to be going up. Went down in December, obviously, the holidays, people not being around, people just don't go researching things like what we do very much. And January has just started. Over here on the left, you can take a look at by referrals and see how people came to us. And I looked earlier and checked, and I think on page three, I found somebody who came to us, uh, they were looking for renewable information and you can actually hover on the link and see that they were looking for is, if you read it, it's is compressed natural gas renewable. So when they type that in to Bing, it looks like, it brought them to our site and they spent some length of time there. If you click on the number, they were number 52 that month, uh, they spent 15 seconds on it and took a look at two page views. So you can use this information to get a sense for how people read our blog. You can understand that people do come and read it. You'll notice all sorts of things. There's lots of bounces. We get lots of people who bounce in and are off so quickly they, they barely register at all. But then people do go and read it and some of them do come back. Uh, because we use the free form, we can only track about 12 months back. But it's very interesting information and the marketing group may want to use this information to try to increase readership. Thanks.